talk about six useless Tacoma options that I paid for. These are things that came on the truck that I never use and never will use. You know, this is a good argument for having an a la carte type menu when you go to buy your new Tacoma or build your new Tacoma. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to pick and choose what you want, kind of like a menu, as opposed to taking these package deals that you pay for that have things in them that you're never going to use. It's like throwing money in the trash, you know? Number one, the bed extender. I'm talking about this thing right here. This pewter colored hunk of metal that I keep on the truck only because I paid for it so it's at least going to rot in the weather even though I never use it. And even if I did have a use for it, I've often thought how functional is it really? I mean, if you're putting boards in here, let's say you're laying a board down, it's going to slide right out of the bottom, isn't it? Or here, or here. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Littler things, they're just going to come flying out of the back of the truck. Only if you have something bigger, maybe like boxes, I don't know, does this thing really have a good use. Now, there is one functional thing I can see about it, and that is being able to put things like a cooler or whatever up against it, close your gate, and then have it stay at the back of the truck so you can easily reach it. I guess that's one valid use for it, even though I never use it at all. Number two, this one is so stupid. It is the $75 connectivity kit. This was included in my truck. It's like two cables, maybe three, I don't remember. And then there's some kind of a, uh, an adapter that plugs into what used to be a cigarette lighter. Now it's just an auxiliary power slot. But it's useless. And what if the cables that are included in this, which you pay for, don't fit your device? Because that's what I've run into. The one that I have here does not have cables in it that fit my current iPhone. Even though you have a wireless charger inside. Why do you even need these? I mean, if you have a wireless charger, you don't need to plug your phone into it, right? And if you have Bluetooth connectivity over the air, you don't have to plug your phone in to be able to get, I don't know, CarPlay or Android Auto or whatever over the radio anymore, which mine does. This is just completely useless. And as you can see, it's never been opened. It sits in my cabinet over there and I'll never have a need for it whatsoever. But I spent 75 bucks for this. What a waste of money. Number three, crawl control. Now, a little bit of this might be my fault. I mean, I did buy the TRD Off-Road, which includes crawl control, right? I could have bought a different trim level that didn't have it. But I wanted the TRD Off-Road version. So I paid to have crawl control uh, which looks pretty sitting up there. I mean, it's a neat little button or switch, dial, whatever you want to call it. It says crawl control, but I have never used it and I will never use it. And a question for you folks out there that have it, that maybe do some off-roading and stuff. Have you ever used crawl control? And I don't mean just experimenting with it to see what it feels like, which is horrid, by the way. I actually experienced it on a test drive in a previous truck with the dealer. But do you actually use it to get you out of a situation that you could not get out of otherwise? Be honest. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. For me, it's a useless option, a useless feature that I'm never going to take advantage of. I don't even live in a snowy climate where maybe if I got into trouble on snow, I could use it then. It's completely useless, useless for me. Number four the blackout package when i bought this truck it included the blackout package it had black emblems and something else i don't even remember what it was where those are now they're actually sitting right up here that's my blackout package oh the uh v6 i think was blacked out this is not an sr5 obviously you can see i've paid for it before on a different truck but it was a feature, an option that came with the truck that I did not need. I didn't have a choice. And I knew full well when I bought the truck that I would be removing those things. 
What about the badge on the side? Remember the sticker? And this is a little controversial. Some people like to see these on the truck. I don't, as you can tell. It said TRD Off-Road here. It's just a sticker. I didn't need to have a sticker on there. So I took it off. I paid for it because you know that's in the price of the truck, right? I mean, they're not giving you anything. Anybody out there who thinks that that's included with the truck and you didn't pay anything for it, you are mistaken. Number five, the rear chrome bumper. This truck came with rear chrome bumpers, or at least in caps. They're not really caps. They were the bumper. I didn't want that. I hate chrome. I'm not a chrome fan. So I paid for them. And then I had to go out. I didn't have to. I chose to go out and buy some covers to go over them. These are bumper caps. They simply screw on at the bottom and then they're held on by adhesive on the sides, even though I don't think you really need that. But it's kind of peace of mind just to kind of secure it a little bit um, so that you don't have to worry about them ever coming off. I love the look of it the way it is. And the good thing, at least with these, and I'm glad they are available, is you can get them in any color you want. I chose black because of the blacked out theme of the truck. Uh, you can get them color matched, paint them, whatever you want to do. Love having that option. Definitely love the way that it looks now. But the chrome bumpers, they're something else that was useless for me. An option I paid for that I didn't need. Lastly, and I know this one is going to be controversial because a lot of people use it. My buddy Randall, if he's watching this, I know you like it. And that's cruise control. I have never used cruise control in the decades. I hate to say that. The decades that I've been driving. Cruise control. Maybe it's because I'm a control freak. I don't know. I like to have control of the vehicle at all times. It kind of cuts me out for the self-driving cars, right? Although they do interest me for some reason. I guess I could take a nap and let the car drive itself. But cruise control, a feature that is obviously included on almost all mid to higher level, even lower level vehicles these days. Of course they charge you for it. Of course they make a profit on it. And you have no choice. Unless you're going to go for the most basic version of any vehicle out there, you're going to get cruise control. You're going to pay for it, whether you use it or not. It's something that I wish we had an a la carte type menu for and we could delete it from the order altogether. Something that I don't use and never wanted. Anyway, those are just six useless Tacoma options or features that I paid for that I am never gonna use. Leave a comment, let me know. What did you get on your truck that you paid for that you're never gonna use? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.